Good morning, church family. It is very good to have you in my kitchen with me again today. I love being able to see you on Sunday mornings like this. Today I'm super excited and Lola is super excited because we have something very special to share with you. As you know, we have been talking about how Paul went around teaching people the good news about Jesus. We remember that some people believed the good news about Jesus and other people didn't believe the good news about Jesus. And you know, that was okay with Paul. He still was full of joy because he understood the real message of the gospel. And part of that message is about grace and mercy. Paul understood grace and mercy. He understood that he had received grace and mercy from God. And because of that, he was able to extend grace and mercy to other people. But here's the question that Lola is gonna help us answer. What is grace and what is mercy? Sometimes they're a little confusing. And so Lola is gonna help us learn about grace and mercy. Right after that, we're gonna have a short story that's gonna tell us the gospel story in a very short amount of time. Let's take a look. When Lola makes a bad choice, like trying to get food off the counter, there are consequences for her behavior. Her punishment is that she has to be banished from the kitchen. If we take her punishment away and allow her back in the kitchen, even though she deserves to be kicked out, this is called mercy. If we give her something nice, not for anything she's done, but just because we love her, this is called grace. The Bible tells us that God is full of both grace and mercy. God created people to love him and to be close to him forever. But let's face it, people aren't perfect. People often want their own way and they act selfishly and in ways that hurt themselves, other people and God. Unfortunately, those bad choices have consequences. They separate us from God. But God loves us way too much to let our disobedience stand in the way of being together with Him. And even though sometimes it looks like people are in control of things, God is really the one who is in control, even when life gets messy. So He sent His own perfect Son, Jesus, to be with us. Jesus talked about a kingdom of God where there is no room for wars or poverty or sickness. And Jesus also came to take our sins, all our wrong choices, and pay for them by dying on the cross. This was how he showed us his mercy. But Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life. That means Jesus defeated death itself. He is still really in control of everything. That's why we call him the King of Kings. Since Jesus beat death, now death can't separate us from God anymore. And we will get to sit next to Jesus when God's kingdom finally arrives everywhere and forever. This is how God showed us his grace. After Jesus announced this good news, he told people to share it with everyone all over the world. And that's just what people have been doing ever since. When people share this gospel and live the way Jesus shows us, that's when this story becomes the best news ever. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Well, church family, I hope that you can remember now the difference between grace and mercy. And I hope that maybe this week you'll think a little bit about times that you've received grace and some things that you might need mercy for. 
And also, I would love for you to think about how you can show grace and mercy to other people. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your grace. You have given us so many things because you love us so much. We thank you also for your mercy. Help us, Father God, to accept your mercy and extend your mercy to others. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, church family, I miss you guys so much. I wish that I could see you. I hope that you are having fun starting to plan Christmas things and I might be able to see some of you outside somewhere in the next couple of weeks. I love you guys, I miss you, and I will see you here again soon. Bye.